All right, good morning or afternoon now. I am in an engine room on a 48 foot something or other. Twin Detroit uh, Series 60 engines. Um, there is oil all over the wall. This side on the exhaust, um, there was three out of the four studs missing in the turbo. So basically just blowing gas everywhere all over the place. So this side, which is the port side apparently is the issue, but I'm looking at starboard side going, eh, there's a lot of stuff wrong with this too. So apparently this on the port side, he's not getting up to um, full RPM. So they're saying that it's the turbo. So I'm gonna rip down the um, vacuum filter on it is completely clogged. Can't see through it. I just took off the vacuum hose on it and it's just draining oil everywhere the filter sits on top of here um, so that's a problem because that leads back into the intake of the pressure side that goes into the turbo so if you've got oil basically running through the top of that and then coming back through into your turbo now you're getting your turbo all covered in oil and um, then that's going and feeding into your cooler, which is then going to top your engine. It's great to lube the top of the engine, but not like this. So it's almost impossible to forget to the other side of that. So I'll show you a couple pictures or another video in, in a minute or two. Um, but there's oil all over the place. A couple lines that are missing. I source where those were coming from, fairly inconsequential. But anyway, on this one, this is basically what I pulled off. That's a stud right there that sheared off from the exhaust side. And I thought I was gonna have to tap these out. There's always an occasion that you might be able to, a big enough wrench to pull them out. And so thank God I didn't have to drill and tap or take the turbo off because it's almost impossible to get to one of the bolts on the turbo and pull the turbo off. Now, um, I'll spin the camera around and do another quick video. I may have to pull the turbo off anyway because it's pretty fouled up with some carbon on the back side, and it's not spinning as freely as, as we would like. So, and also the mixing elbow which I'll show you in a second. And I think I've shown it to you when I was working on those Perkin diesels. Um, the exhaust, which is very, very hot, mixes in a, in a stainless steel mixing elbow, and that's what cools it down. And then the exhaust, it's called a wet exhaust. The exhaust and the water all mix together and then go outside the boat. That's how what a wet exhaust is. And that's a, a break point. Um, so if we can turn the camera, yes. so right there. So here's your wet side of it. Here's your turbo, the back side of the turbo, the exhaust side. And then here, the stainless big elbow here is your mixing elbow. So you've got exhaust gases coming out of here, and then you've got water coming into here. And then there's two elbows, or there's two different uh, sections to this, then they shouldn't co-mingle they shouldn't mix until they get out to about here which is our um, uh, nylon um, bushing um, which is a high temp um, bushing that will allow the water and the exhaust to all flow out into the hard exhaust pipe so this gives a little bit of cushion so it, it's a dampener for the engine to, to run a little bit too so it's just not hard pipe they'll shake it apart so this bolt, this bolt, and that, this bolt is actually missing on this side. So I've got to rip this whole thing down and see if I can't get out um, the bolt on that. On this side, I see a lot of rust and water. And so that's not, that's not good there because this elbow here might be busted as well. And if it is, then that's gonna start causing a major problem. So. I can show you that. So on this, look at all the exhaust coming out of here. And look how caked up that turbo is. 
and then if you look on the inside it looks like there's oil and water mixing so if you look at this elbow right here you can see how rusted it is inside so these are this is where the water comes out and that's where the exhaust comes out so the two of them shouldn't mix up till that point so i'm gonna have to take this whole turbo off so i guess i'll show you around the other side series 60 detroit's so that's where the vacuum was obviously the air filters are black and so that's causing a restriction into the turbo here as well and then on the back side here you can see it's a mess and i can't it's almost impossible to get to this so i'm gonna have to rip apart a bunch of stuff to get to that and that's your cooler on the other side which is the same thing here so forced air comes in through here, goes through the cooler, and then goes into the, oh, there's my wrench. I knew that was somewhere. Goes into there. So I'm gonna continue to rip this apart here and see where we go and I'll give you an update.